It rained, so I decided to enter the cyclocross race after Tom's race. And in this race, it's the juniors, the seniors, and the masters, and the ladies. So a lot of categories, I'm in the masters, 40 plus, and my goal was not to go too fast on that one. Going wide around the outside, check out the shadows to see how close I was to that rider and the fence. the juniors and the seniors and then coming into the old men here and I'll try not to go too fast on that one to save some energy for the following five or six laps again going for the outside here but this rider also went for the outside so that really didn't work out for me at all and that kind of annoyed me so I thought okay I've got to overtake this rider And this mud was so horrible to ride through, it's so energy sapping, so he's there, I'm going to overtake him. And then I've learned from the outside being so busy that just to go up the inside works. Just got the inside here. Up to P5 of the category. Often off the racing line was firmer, because the racing line had gotten so soft from the earlier races. And I could overtake this rider with a sprint up here, but I haven't got the fitness to just sprint on that one and be able to finish the whole race. So, tucking behind, here's a set of steps. And if you carry your bike sideways, which most people do, you can block the whole staircase. then jump on kind of narrow and i feel like hmm, getting a bit held up here i've got a secret overtaking spot coming up nice drift in there and this bit i thought was too dangerous to ride this weird bit but if i run on the grass i get more grip and can run around to get up to p4 quite a nice part of the course off the sandy wet sludgy football pitch and I'd done one practice lap before the race didn't want to waste my energy but I hadn't really practiced these lines so my first lap was not perfect but as the race went on I started getting it's better at carrying more speed through these corners. Right ahead, accelerating quite hard out the corner, saving my energy a bit. Because by the last race, after that one, I was so tired. For this race, I was thinking a little bit more about how long the race is. Around the chicanes. It's pretty cool to go up the corner. And this is all the same lap that Tom did three times in his race, apart from the steps he didn't have to do. And into this field, which is an old very old BMX track kind of motocross kind of play course. I never managed to ride up this bank so I'm just planning to run it. That rider rode it. Didn't make much of a gain. And then I'm gonna turn onto this old BMX track. My brakes don't work very well at all. And on to the bumps. It's kind of tricky when you're tired to ride. I was choosing the outside along the berm, BMX style. 
these bumps are a pain when you're trying to pedal, like I rolling a few of them, bumping. You see how far ahead the the lead of the race is so far ahead. Corner, stick on the BMX corner, and then this next one's really tricky. It's really slippy. I always use my foot to pull around the front wheel. And then here we kind of exit over this corner, and then it's just some nasty muddy down and ups. I quite enjoyed that section of course with the grass. I think I could ride that quite nicely. The down, up, the corners, everything I was pretty happy with. Look at this hole in here, it's so nasty. And then as soon as I get onto this slow sandy surface, the guy immediately starts pulling away. I'm looking for find firm ground and can't keep up. And this surface is so hard to ride on. It's really just it's kind of like riding up a hill. It's so slow. As you can see I'm not gonna be keeping up with the rider ahead for much longer. We do this football pit section and then we come round into the other football pit section so this is so much time spent on this horrible surface. Actually borrowed Tom's wheels for this race because he's got the best mud tyres so grip wasn't a problem at all it was just so soft. Around here we head into the barriers, which were kind of two planks of wood, so not jumpable on the bike. So getting off, and I actually run my bike until the soil gets a bit firmer around here. And that is one lap complete, I think I'm doing five or six laps. And it's really tough to do the guy heads gone ahead now and for me it's just about trying to finish the next few laps off without losing too many places. It's kind of fun doing cycle cross. It's kind of like a Use running race physically but you're also kind of concentrating you on your riding, you like um, in BMX. It's just before the last lap. Jumping over the barriers, having a good time. I think I get the bell on this lap to complete my last lap. I'm going so slow it's almost tempted to run <laughs> run this bit. Just trying to look for any firm bit of ground. Any slower, I think it would have been better to get off and run. I finished my final lap, finished the race in 16th overall. Didn't get lapped by the juniors. It was close, and I was fifth in master, so not quite on the podium, which would be nice, but I was the youngest master there, so I should have done a bit better, but I had good fun. And the fastest lap of the race was 6 minutes 30, and I think my fastest lap was 7 minutes 30 something, so a bit off the pace, but had a lot of fun.